Welcome to my channel. I am Khalid. In this video, we are going to design and simulate a DC DC buck converter using MATLAB Simulink. As all, you know a buck converter is a DC to DC converter which step down the input voltage to a lower one. Applications of the buck converter A buck converter is widely used in low power applications such as Mobile charger Small motor drive Power amplifier Computer power supply Solar charge controller now we will try to design a simple buck converter and the design is based on filter inductance and capacitor. Before proceeding further, we shall look at the specification required. Input voltage equals 24 voltage. Required output voltage equals 12 voltage. Switching frequency equals 25 kilohertz. Maximum voltage ripple equals 20 millivolts. Inductance current ripple equals 0.3 amp. First, we need to calculate the duty ratio for the buck converter. The duty ratio is based on this formula with equal to 0.5. Now we require to calculate the value of the inductance based on this formula which equals 0.3 mile Henry. Finally, we need to calculate the value of the capacitor based on this formula which equals 200 microfarads. Now we can go to the MATLAB Simulink window to simulate the Bach converter. This the MATLAB Simulink window. First, save the file by a suitable name. Then select the required component for the Bach converter. The DC source is 24 voltage as given in the specifications. Now select the IGBT or MOSFET transistor in the diode. Select the inductance and capacitor from the component. The designed values was 0.3 mile Henry for inductance and 200 microfarads for the capacitor. Now finally select the resistance which act as the load to the converter and assign some random value. And now we need to connect all thesis components using wires. We need a gating signal for IGBT. Select the pulse generation. Change the time period which equals to 125,000 and the duty ratio 50% as the design value. To display the results we need a voltmeter, a current meter, and an oscilloscope. To see the output voltage and current.
Now we need to assign the sampling time in the power information block and the running time for our simulation design project. Run the simulation and see the results. First, we will see the output voltage result ignore the transient and see the steady state value which was 12 voltage that is our design value. Now we shall lock at the output current which was close to 400 mA. The value of the output current is depending on the load. So that is all for today, I will discuss a closed loop simulation of a buck converter using Pi control in the upcoming video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe link and share.